ninth grade HL is an interesting combination of history and literature that sort of follows a historical trajectory. I think it's a, it's a space where students get to really sit with literature in a way that they haven't had time to do in middle school. Minimally what's expected is you read the text carefully and can access the question through the text. Isn't he kind of manipulating Pat's feelings and love towards him because he puts all the definitions that he wants into Epicac, but then he uses the way that Epicac transforms them into a poem and sentences that she ends up loving. So isn't it morally wrong because he uses Epicac to earn and gain Pat's love instead of using his own thoughts? So you might not have the most beautiful opinions on the moral questions of how the text is speaking to you, but you can at least say, well, the text says this, and be able to find that. And then sort of the next step is, what are those bigger questions? So there's sort of levels of participating in an HL conversation, and I think what's interesting about it is every student is at a different level, but should still be able to access the conversation. I don't think it's moral. I think it's moral that he's, it's fine to take it from the machine, but it's a, gonna be a problem later on because he's lying to his wife and his wife doesn't know that he's actually not poetic, so she's gonna be receiving lines for their whole marriage. Humane Letter starts freshman year, so this is my first year in this class. I love that it's just a safe space and in seminar we can voice our opinion and hear other people's opinions and you don't have to worry about being judged or ridiculed. And I think that the life lessons that these books teach us, you can't really learn anywhere else. Another point of Humane Letters is to not only voice your own opinion, but to hear others and understand their point of view, so that even if you disagree with it, you can understand where another interpretation of the text or the action could come from. I've learned that everyone's opinion can be different, but everyone's opinion it's also exciting for me when I'm struggling with something in a text and the students as a group are able to bring out something that I didn't see. And I think that's kind of the beauty of HL, that there are things in reading a text that you can't see by yourself. And you need the perspectives of other people in order to get a fuller picture. So Human Letters really at its core is a great book seminar. It's a two-hour class where students read the great authors. They read Willa Cather, they read Frederick Douglass, they read Homer and Plato and Shakespeare, and they read these books and then come ready to discuss them among their peers. There's going to be mistakes that are made, and those marks of people that are judged unjustly is worth the mass that is judged justly. Yeah. At the beginning, it was kind of hard to come up with good conversations where we could get something out of them. But as we kept going and kept talking, you learn more ways to talk about things that aren't easy to talk about. By senior year, I, I noticed a couple things. One is I think students have a lot more enthusiasm for this format. It's, it's a unique feature of, of our school. And then they just become a lot more uh, self-sufficient at it. So I can ask a question and students will, will take off and discuss for quite a long time and, and have a really rich, fruitful conversation. Since we've set up these rules, we have to follow through with them or we're going to cause greater injustice when the situations are slightly different. I feel like I've kind of grown with the class. In ninth grade, the books are certainly easier, but there's still deep ideas and thoughts that I've really enjoyed exploring. If this happened on a wide scale, this happened with lots of cases where people were deemed guilty and they were acquitted, then it would it would cause way more problems than it would be solving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'd be setting criminals free. And now as I get older and I've been in it longer and I'm more comfortable with the people that I'm with, I feel like we've been able to go deeper and get into more intense ideas. I think I've learned how to go more in depth into something and not just look at, oh, this character is really interesting, this character is funny, this character is sad, but instead I'm thinking, how does this affect me and how can I become a better person as a result of it? 